Hello friends, I'm Maria AK Sita from Sita's Budgeting Journey. On my channel, I'll be budgeting my monthly income using the cash envelope system and fund savings challenges. I'll also be sharing some faith-based content and of course some tips on how we can prioritize our self-care. So if any of this interests you, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads as I navigate my way towards financial freedom. If you're already subscribed, thank you for your ongoing support. I love and appreciate you all. So guys, as you can see, we've got some baby magic going on. I am so excited to be here with you guys today, stuffing our baby binder once again. Now let's see what we've got here. I'm like, where's my money? <laughs> here it is. What I did is I want to kind of continue where I left off. Let me move him out the way a little bit. I want to continue where I left off. So this is the last challenge that, oops, I hope you guys can see it better. This is the last challenge that we completed. Oh, I'm sorry, where we left off. This is the last one we did. So we're going to come over here. I think we have $50, but let me check. 10 20 5, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Yes, $50. So that's what we're working with today. And like I said, we're going to start right here because this is where we left off. These are $5 each. And this is just going to be for the baby savings. So once the baby gets here, Whatever money we have here is going to go over to our family binder and we're going to set up a bucket for the baby in our ideal savings account. So let's start with pink feet this time. So happy Sunday to everyone. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I, my plans did not go the way I expected them to go. And if I'm not going to get into it, if you guys saw the last video, you know, I had some special plans for today, guys, they, it, it did not pan out, but that's okay. We are not going to stress over it and we're not really going to get into it too much today. We'll, we'll talk about it another day, but I am here nonetheless and excited to be putting some money away for our little baby now she did have an ultrasound guys i'll probably put a picture around here somewhere just one so you guys can see my little great grandbaby <laughs> and um she was not able to find out but they did do some blood work and they said that she should know the gender of the baby by this wednesday so it's supposed to be a secret because they are going to do a gender reveal i'm ready to find out but you know who am I? I'm just a great grandmom. <laughs> so I'll be patient and wait along with everybody else. All right, so we have $10 going into this one here. We found out that she is now uh, 12 days. She, I'm sorry, 12 weeks and one day. So she's now 12 weeks and three days because today is Sunday. Her appointment was on Friday. All right, so we now have $20 here. So what's going on, guys? How was your weekend? I hope you guys all had a lovely weekend. How's the weather where you guys are at? Believe it or not, it is hot here. And not as hot like, you know, I'm not even sure what the temperature was, but guys, it's warm compared to last week when I was complaining about it was cold. I'm telling you, this weather is so bipolar. So bipolar. I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do, let me use a different color. I'm going to do two here because this one here is going to be kind of like uh, Fiona's book is with my other challenges. This will be kind of like if I only have a dollar or two left and I don't have anywhere to put it, I'll just put it in here. And then once we complete this challenge, this is from Good Workmates. There's, I think, two or three more challenges that we can use. So, did I put the money here? Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did not put the money here. All right, this next one here is from my girl Rami. 
Look how cute this little gray elephant is. Guys, you're gonna be so proud of me. Look what I have right here. Ta-da! I have a dye and this is here from yesterday. I said I'm not gonna put it away because I always forget it. All right, so let's see. Let me do it over here. Four dollars. Let's do one more. Five dollars. Okay, you just want to take all my money. Four. Nine dollars. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. This baby's going to take all my money anyway. I know it. I know it. Because guess what? Her mom, Ayana, my granddaughter, she's my oldest grandchild. So she took all my money. It was like, what? You want this? Sure. <laughs> you want it? No problem. You want to go? Let's go. You want me to pick you up? It doesn't matter what time it is. That was my baby. I was at her beck and call. Anytime she called or she said she wanted something, my mom was there. So, of course, her baby is going to be, oh, I can't even imagine. So we should have 9, 10, 15, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 dollars here. All right, so moving right along. Let's see, accessories. This one here is a dollar. We're just gonna do one here. All right. I'm not going to count. It should be five in here. This one here is $2. White saving challenge. Oops. All right. So $2 going into this one here. Let me just count it. To make sure five six seven eight two four six eight yes that is correct we have this one here the diaper one and guys we know how expensive diapers can be so we're going to put three dollars in this one one two three so we should now have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars in this one. You know what? One, two, three, four, five. Just gonna grab a five dollar bill because I still have a few of those left and I'm gonna need four ones, so. Alrighty, number four, or shall I say this four dollar challenge. And let's do so I have a question for you guys. When do you start shopping for a baby? For you know, a new mom. Um, I know I used to always when I was younger, I used to be even when I had my own kids, my mom, my aunts would tell me that I had to wait till I was at least five months before I started buying stuff. And course I listened to them you know they knew what they were talking about <laughs> I was 19 what did I know um but I know that some people start shopping as soon as they find out they're pregnant some people set up the nursery before the baby's even born before the baby's even conceived so what do you guys do what is what is customary you know with you guys is it a family thing is it you know something that it's like taboo if you start shopping too soon um let me know in the comments because I haven't bought the baby anything yet, and I'm really trying not to. I really want to wait, first of all, to find out what if it's a boy or girl. But I, you know, I don't know. I want to wait. But so far, so good. Everything's fine. She doesn't have an appointment now until the beginning. Sometime in December, everything's good. Her blood pressure, all mom is doing great, and the baby's heartbeat, the baby's growing, the baby was kicking all over the place. The baby's doing good. I heard the heartbeat, guys. I started crying. I started crying. It just so happened I was in my kitchen. I have a picture of my son. And I looked up at him and I was just like, that's your baby. That would have been your grandbaby. And it just made me so emotional. I just started crying. I was like, oh, God, <laughs> what a mess. But, you know, I know he would have been an awesome, awesome grandfather to his first girl, to anybody's. You know, I mean, like I said, nieces and nephews, they adored him. 
to this day, they all still talk about him, even though they were all like three, four, five years old when he passed. All right, so we have $12. There's $12 here. And guys, this just goes to show, this is only my second time stuffing this binder, and it, you know, little by little, it's building up. So $5 is going in here. Let's go up here with the blue. So we should now have $15 in this one here. And that is correct. Look at the little toesies. Okay. I don't know how much I have left, but let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am a dollar short. So I won't be able to put another 10 here. Let me put this here. I guess I could, and then I can just add a dollar, but. Or I can just do like I said I was. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do two things. I'm going to put the extra here, but I'm going to come over here to Rami's. And we're gonna do, we're gonna roll the die one more time, or maybe two times, and see what we get. Okay, so that's a three. We can do it one more time. And a two. We're gonna stop there. So one, two, three, four, five dollars is going in this one here. And we are going to put the extra $4 in this one here. So that's one, whoops, two, three, and four. So this one will be done soon enough and like i said i have a few more so once i'm done with that one i'm just going to switch them out because we all know how expensive babies are and we are going to need to continue to save for this little one oh wait oh wait oh wait oh wait so we stopped where we stopped at rami so we're going to our next time we stuff we're going to start here with number one okay perfect Alrighty guys, so how are you all doing? How's your weekend going? It's, you know, been a nice, beautiful weekend weather-wise here. And I hope you guys are experiencing some good weather. There was someone, oh, I wish I remember her name. It was a channel, it was a, a video I was watching. And they're going to have temps like minus two degrees, minus three. Like, hello, what? Freezing. They're supposed to expect, they're supposed to be getting some snow on Monday. I was like, oh, geez. And here I was complaining about our little 40 degree temps last week. But we're getting back to, to normal fall temps. And I'm excited about that. And guys, after my appointment on Tuesday, let's say Wednesday or Thursday, I am going to go out and get my pumpkin spice latte. I always get at least one or two per season. But this year I haven't gotten any yet. So... We're going to make that. We're going to make that part of our to-do list for this week. Alrighty, guys. I hope you guys continue to have a great day, evening, afternoon, or morning. I'm not sure what time you're watching my video. Today is Sunday evening, and it's almost time for me to get these kids ready for bed because we've got school tomorrow. So you guys take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay blessed, and we will be chatting soon.